sipping on booze in the house of blues. It's the O, O, O. Today I'm going to be doing a full day of eating since I'm here all day during quarantine and give you guys a little glimpse into what it is that I eat during prep for a show. So first things first, I'm going to cook some protein, get some tame spray, I'm going to do one whole egg. I like the taste. Now I'm sticking to a meal plan, but I'll throw in anything that I feel like I need for micronutrients. Got spinach and whole egg, and the rest is going to be egg whites. So we got some coffee. Um, I'm not adding any creamer at this point in my prep. I'm two and a half weeks out. Adding Splenda Zero, which is a zero calorie sweetener. Usually add something like um, Splenda or Stevia to my coffee. For water, I'll be drinking a gallon of water today. I like to add Fit and Active Fruit Punch which is the cheaper version of Mio. Zero calories, no electrolytes. Be very careful about electrolytes. This is close out to a show. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. So for my carb source, I'll be going with the lower sugar oatmeal. Again, Aldi, cheaper version. Same, same number of calories as um, Quaker or Aldi. These are the things you need to know. And I'll just cook this in the microwave and be right back. And uh, wait. it's all cooked. Alright, uh, oatmeal, two minutes in the microwave. Now we just need to add peanut butter, plants, different type of cinnamon. So it's going to be a lot more potent. More of the benefits that you find with cinnamon or with Ceylon. So I like to add that into my cinnamon. If you want a little extra kick, a little Himalayan pink salt. Now, I take 500 milligrams of vitamin C every day. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. But studies are coming out to show this year that too much vitamin C can inhibit muscle protein synthesis. So I'm kind of limiting how much vitamin C I have on the regular, unless I'm feeling under the weather. As you can tell, I had a little bit of a cold this weekend. So I'm going to be drinking vitamin C, uh, orange juice and I take 500 milligrams daily. And if I really need it, I'll take the emergency which is another thousand per packet. Next we're going to add some banana. Try oatmeal. Ooh la la. That's what the oatmeal looks like. Follow me. Here we are at the breakfast table. So meal one, 10, gra 10 ounces of egg whites. Uh, about 20 grams of spinach, one whole egg, pink Himalayan salt. Then we've got two packets of oatmeal, 16 grams of peanut butter, one banana, black coffee sweetened with Splenda, orange juice, a gallon of water, and it wouldn't be a full day of eating unless I showed you what I'm taking for supplements. I've got creatine, fish oil, multivitamin, B12, vitamin C, and vitamin D. So I'm going to show you what I have pre-workout. 
I have 150 calories and four squares of cheat toast, peanut butter, and cheddar cheese crackers. The crackers are cheddar cheese, not the thin. Anywho, this is good because it's mostly carbs, low calorie, it's got sodium, and a little bit of fat, just what you need for a good pump. And of course, I go with my traditional pump product, BSN Endo Rush. I'm going to take that and do a back workout today. And I'll catch you at my next meal. What's up guys? So I just finished my arm workout and cardio buys and tries. A little bit of cardio. So now it's time to show you my physique two weeks out. And hopefully, yeah, this is right before I'm cutting creatine. And it's only going to get better from here. See you next. So the pump is pretty much gone. <sighs> But just wanted to show my conditioning here. Probably some of the best I've ever had. So anyway, that's my physique update. Hey, so next is going to be my post-workout protein shake. Two scoops of vanilla whey protein gonna down this and then I'll get to my next most important meal of the day which is my meal prepped meal of tilapia asparagus and sweet potato see you then so here we have tilapia sweet potato and asparagus and this is meal number three so now it's time for a little snack I'm gonna have a Snickers bar it's only 180 calories and it's really nice and sunny out here, so I'm just gonna enjoy it out here. Hmm. This is very good, I highly recommend. Very low calorie, a little bit of protein. And next, I'm gonna have a cutie orange, and I'm gonna go for a walk just to get out of the house do something, get a little bit more exercise. It's a beautiful day. So, two weeks out. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna have some dinner. Um, didn't realize I was running so low on protein, but I'm gonna save my meal prep meals for later on in the week so I don't run out of food. What we have here are some deviled eggs, and I'm gonna keep it high protein with some solid white tuna. Tuna is 29 grams of protein, one gram of fat, no carbs. And eggs have protein in them as well, so I'll easily be able to hit my protein intake for today. So after we take it out of a can, put it in there, it looks like this, and just kind of mash it together. And you've got instant tuna and egg salad. Bon appetit. All right, so I had a bang energy drink about four o'clock in the afternoon and the reason I did have one today is two weeks out probably cutting it out soon and I just felt a little low energy coffee didn't quite do the trick so last thing I have today is this quest bar now if I'm gonna give a review of this quest bar I'm gonna say it's the best protein bar out there um, I'll give you the reasons why it does the best with my stomach uh, compared to let's say like a think thin bar uh, there's no sugar alcohols there's a lot of fiber a lot of protein very uh, moderate carb very low sugar like one gram of sugar and um, but the thing that I like about it the most is out of all the quest bars out there it is the only one that is a there's a there's a couple the cookies and cream are like this it is a multi-textural bar. There's more than one texture to it. So it has kind of a crunch to it. And it tastes really good. It tastes like real chocolate when you're eating this thing. So I highly recommend if you haven't tried the s'mores flavor, go ahead and try that. And that's going to be it today, guys, for the full day of eating. I will catch you next time.